Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I am excited to share with all of you my unboxing and first look at the IBO First Litter Edition. Now, this is the ERS 1000. It retails for a little under 3,000 US. Of course, sales tax in your state is applicable, and as you can see, just arrived on my doorstep today. A little frightening that there was no signature uh, required. First thing you'll notice is the IBO Unleash Wonder paperwork, which uh, I am not opening right now. You also, of course, get the iBone. Uh, I think that's, yeah, it is called the iBone. And by the way, none of this is really new. Uh, the paw pads, these are replacements. You know, eventually iBo's uh, paws are going to get a little bit dirty, and I'm assuming we're going to have to buy more of these. Now, at that price point, you are getting, of course, the latest, the ERS-1000. This is a long time in the making for Sony, something that... I've been waiting for for a very long time because, you know, Sony had this going back in the late 90s and it was incredibly popular, but not popular enough with the financial situation that Sony was going through. So here it finally succeeded in Japan and now we've got it here in America. So if you pre-ordered this months ago, you should be getting it right now, right around the holiday season. With that said, let me get this thing, not this thing, this robot out of the box. So we've got a message here. This is basically a giant egg and excuse the, uh, the change in audio, but I am moving some things around. So bear with me. I will be getting to everything else that's in the box as I hit my tripod uh, in a second. But I of course do want to show all of you Ibo immediately. So we've got a message right out of the box. Um, I'm looking for the seam here. Uh, from Sony addressing IBO owners. I'm looking at the tab is on the bottom. I think this should just slide off. So let's see. Trying to treat this with care, considering, uh, again, that it's something that is incredibly expensive. And, you know, I don't look at this as a replacement for a pet. So for those of you wondering, Ed, do you plan on was this your choice instead of a dog? No, absolutely not. I've had many dogs over the years. Right now, I just have a cat. But now, here's Rodney. So, as you can see, right out of the box, cutie patootie sitting there waiting to be charged up. He's got cameras, sensors, OLED eyes. This is by far and away, uh, in my opinion, the best design uh, that Sony ever had. Uh, by the way, Ibo is made in China. I was a little surprised by that. I was expecting made in Japan, but either way, uh, this is the most advanced consumer robot available, especially at a price that even though it may seem very high, I'm going to call realistic because uh, while things like uh, STEM robotics are out there, uh, for educational purposes, Ibo is strictly an entertainment robot. Facial recognition, cloud connectivity for three years, uh, basically incorporating all of the technology, all the technological advancements of today into what was always a great concept, but never fully fledged out. Now, I'm being very careful with Ibo here. You can see the sensor right on his nose there. Uh, the ears move, the tail moves. You can see the camera here because he does have to have the ability to uh, navigate through territory. You can see, well, I don't want to break anything, uh, charging uh, port or pogo port right there on the bottom for the charge base. Uh, and it's really just a very impressive thing to have a piece of robotics like this, uh, you know, in the year we're in. Now, granted, yes, I guess he only had a sleeve on or a sock on one foot there, one paw, but he weighs in at a little under five pounds and <laughs> he's going to keep looking like a dead robotic dog until I actually power him up. Now, I don't know. I think this is also, uh, there are sensors here. I believe there are sensors on his head. I believe there are sensors under his chin. I mean, I'm not positive on all the sensor points, but you know, I will find out. And again, the three years of cloud connectivity that Sony forces you into, and I say that because with the Japanese version, they did not force, well, this is going to look very uncomfortable for Ibo here as I, sorry, Ibo. 
Um, the, the three years of cloud support is really intended to give Ibo users uh, a sense of comfort that they are going to have this product and it is going to work for at the very least three years. Uh, in Japan, the cloud service was optional. I'm not going to get into why that is, but what I will show you is what else comes in the box. So with that said, let me grab the other box. I'm going to move this over. Even though Ibo is the star of the show. And here are the balance, excuse the audio changes, the, the uh, variants here, of accessories that are included. And that is going to be the charging dock, as well as Ibo's ball. So, essentially this piece right here is what you're going to be placing on the actual charging dock. We have some uh, paperwork here, which is, uh, I'm not going to get into that, but the actual charging dock, I believe you just take this mat out. And I'm not positive that Ibo actually returns his or herself, depending on what sex you decide to apply to your uh, robotic pup. Um, it's one of those things where I'm not sure that he actually will take himself to the dock. I'm looking to see if I get this correct here on insertion and I now see the correct orientation. So there it is. Has a little bit of play, which is clear Ibo must need it uh, when lining up. And then we of course have Ibo's pink ball, much like his bone, which never going away. And that obviously has to do with, I think, Ibo's vision, which hasn't changed that much, even though now the eyes are OLED and give you a level of expression that never existed uh, with previous generation Ibos. In fact, they all looked more robotic than dog. And that's why I think this version, this generation is so unique. So putting this aside, we've got a power brick, which very much reminds me of a Sony laptop. And I'm not trying to be cute because we all know that Sony doesn't make laptops anymore. Vio does, but Vio is a separate entity. But this looks exactly like my Vio Z canvas charger. So the good news here is, is that when Ibo dies, if my Vio, well, I hate to say something like that, but I've got a second charger. Let's put it that way for my Vio Z canvas. So that's not a bad thing. Now the iBone, I'm going to go ahead and pop that thing out. Fairly simple. Just pop it open. And by the way, these are not returnable, so you better be sure you want an Ibo, because other than selling it in the aftermarket, you're not going to be doing anything with it. So I'm moving the charger out of the way, and what I'm going to do right now is just put Ibo on the dock. So again, bear with me while I do this, just so that you can see what Ibo should look like when resting on the dock. Okay, that's the idea here. So come here, Ibo. Again, five pounds, but he is a bit of a brick. I'm gonna tell you right now, he is brickish. So the pogo port, I can see right there. So that appears to me to mean that he's gotta line up, all right? I keep worrying about his head as if he's a baby, like that. Now I didn't expect his feet to hang off, but that's exactly how Ibo is going to charge. A little bit of a suggestive position here. But uh, he's, you know, I thought it was going to be similar to the way he looked in his little crate, which was pretty adorable. Um, but there you have it. Now, um, all the joints move. I mean, that's what's really amazing. Uh, Ibo is certainly not a sprinter, but uh, the robot can move relatively quickly. And that pretty much covers everything. I mean, the only thing I didn't share with all of you was some of the paperwork right here, which is really not relevant or relative. I will check what's in this welcome package so that, you know, those of you that are curious will know. So let's see. I don't think there's gonna be anything sensitive in here. That's part of the reason I'm, you know, not incredibly, um, I wasn't anxious to share it because I didn't think it'd be anything too crazy. And guess what? It's not. It's my certificate of adoption. 
All right, so it's a robot. I understand why Sony's going there, but um, I certainly didn't adopt Ibo. We all know that. Um, and then you also get an Ibo keychain. And apparently this is the 400th even. It says number 400, so that means he is the 400th Ibo in the production line of the first litter edition. Now, I don't know how many of these they have made, but I know this is round one. They, you know, the pre-orders went on and off, and it was really a matter of whether or not you caught it at the right time. Uh, it didn't sell out immediately, and as far as I know, these were all made to order, really. Even though you would think, oh, Sony's got a warehouse, absolutely not, because this is beyond a niche product at this point, because after all, it is a robotic dog. But uh, again, it's going to be very interesting. Of course, I will be doing a full review. You'll see all the tricks, any tips, and also interactions that uh, Rodney, as I've named him, has with our cat, uh, Rue. And it should be pretty interesting. Hopefully, Rue doesn't beat him up too much because we know Rodney certainly isn't going to beat up the cat. Um, but uh, And the cat is substantially larger than Rodney here. The cat weighs in at you know, 14, 15 pounds. So... Uh, three times minimum uh, Rodney's weight. But either way, excited to share it with all of you. Didn't know it was arriving today. It was scheduled for Monday, but Sony is trying to make sure that everybody that did uh, you know, register and, and pre-order and is part of the first litter edition gets it by uh, at least Christmas. I think that was always their goal. They always said mid-December, and here we are, and mid-December seems right. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Hit that like button, and as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.